Friaden, Beyond Journeys, and one of my favorite animes that I'm watching on the Patreon right now. We're going to do the ending. I've not heard it. Well, I've heard like the first five seconds, but I hit stop every time because we save it for videos like this. Anytime, anywhere, the full version. I'm excited. Let's go. Can you all right? Can you hear me? I like the language shift there. Ooh. The lyrics, though. are really good you, those of you that are friends of the channel you know i don't the focus for me is not there's so many channels of focus up to the lyrics and meaning and stuff but i kind of can't help but not you know yeah again i'll talk about it a little bit i mean just if you haven't seen the anime i'm not going to say too much but just the discussion here about you know if you think about the vastness of life for one of our characters and just compare time differences to others these lyrics mean a lot but let's talk about the music though because the music is really good the first minute and a half here is some really great stuff we start with such a light guitar piano and voice and you are just little strums and little ornamentations on the, the right hand of the piano. It's very, very nice. And man, the delivery of that. Da, da, dee, da, 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 da. I can't sing it, but uh, I can sure appreciate where we're going with the delivery of that melody uh, in the vocal line right there. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And then the entrance of the oboe, bring in the woodwinds here. And it's such a delicate timbre of instrument to just really support where we're going because it's going to fit right just in the mid range because all we have right now is this light strum guitar and the piano and the voice is obviously the main focus, but you sneak some woodwinds in there and then I think they come in a little bit louder too. We get some harmonies, but it it's such a perfect way to just, just blow that up a little bit more. Just a little bit. Here we go. Mm. Big open long legato notes there, and it has its own little contour to be a supportive, just like kind of its own little melody there. And it exists perfectly because currently the dynamic is low enough to where nothing's overpowering each other, so those sounds can still be heard really clean. <laughs> Man, talk about a violin that just sneaks and that's great playing because it just comes out of nowhere and it just suddenly there's presence. And then obviously we bring the bass in, we have some more percussion and everything starts to change at this point. And then it becomes, um, this is not the right word, but it comes mm, a little bit of a pop ballad ish not it's not really pop though but you know that that ballad feel really gets solidified though it's it's when the bass comes in right Bum, bum, bum. And we have an ensemble wide. That is our rhythmic phrase in there. Big fat chords and that big harmonies. That works really well. That's where I'm getting with my, like, it really feels like a ballad of the <laughs> And 
and it's gorgeous because the drummer is getting to open up a little bit. Well, not open up, just in context within the ballad, they get to open up and there's more woodwind action. The bass player is still there. And I mean, everything, like the context of the, dy the dynamic, it is much louder. So we still, if you, I'm not going to do it. If we were to rewind the beginning and compare it to now, obviously we have come a very, uh, we're, we're in a very different spot, just volume wise, overall dynamic, what's going on. Let's keep going. Talk about, man, those leaps in the intervals there, that is, a first of all, the vocalist sounds amazing, but the control and the display of musicianship on the the, the, the leap, in, intervallic leap here, ba -da 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 -da. I, I, whatever, I'm not going to do it, but you know what I'm talking about? Here we go. Good stuff. Ooh. And I'm alright. Yeah, I hear you. No be taka me o ka se ka kalaka teru. Semu imi ga ru yo. Tachi to matta hibi mo. Ima sara wa ka te anata ni o hitsu ita yo. Hora kono me ja ne kere. So obviously, we, oh man, I love variety. You know, I always talk about variety is definitely the spice of life, especially when it comes to music, because we have the phrasing that we already had at the beginning, but we just get little embellishments that make it different, even though, like, musically speaking, if you're going to, you know, check out the notes on the page, it's the same melody here. The chord progression is the same, but we just get these little things that it, it's not a cookie. It's just not a, a control C, a control V. That's, in my opinion, really important because it keeps the listener involved, and it also allows the artist to still be creative and not be so, you know, like, constricted. All right. We'll call back vocals. And there's that great delivery of that melody right there. Just things as simple as just little violin fills going into a little bit of cymbal augmentation and then into piano again. I don't know why. I geek out for this stuff because it's so subtle, but it means so much, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's similar to the uh, the woodman part before we had that like little contour in the middle the the string section the violin player here has the same thing going on it just creates the same kind of warm effect that makes it very you know it's very song like because if you remove it it still sounds great with, you know, the guitars strumming their chords and the piano player doing the thing. But if you just take away those little embellishments, it's not as magical as it is, you know, if that makes sense. We got the anytime, anywhere being repeated. Obviously, it's the name of the song, but we get that in English. That's kind of cool. And underneath all, uh, not under, I would say above the anytime, anywhere, but underneath the main vocals, we have all this brass is happening. We have all these counter melodies coming at us. This is amazing. Let's, all right, 254. Let's go back to like, I don't know, like two, let's go back to 226. See if this is far enough back. Oh, yeah, man. Woo. 
big almost fanfare like brass stuff going on we have all the layers that we previously talked about they're still there now it's pretty i always like to use the uh the highway analogy for how many cars in the road we're getting pretty thick now luckily all this stuff is not um the speed limit's slow though so the ideas that are moving are big just blocky chunky legato just meaning smooth open Musical ideas, there's not much, it's not like, you know, there's not, it's not like prog metal. We don't have to like identify a bunch of things, but it's still a lot to listen to if, if that <laughs> Yeah, can you hear the woodman's just sailing? It feels like flute or piccolo stuff going on there. Um... Now, with that analogy about the highway and the speed and stuff, sorry, one thing I want to make sure that I, like, kind of uh, enunciate here, just because the tempo to, of something is, like, slow, you know, actually, it's probably more like right here is where I'm really kind of feeling this is probably our halftime groove here. But just because a piece is slow doesn't mean it's not difficult to orchestrate something to make it very musically um, um, superior, you know, like sounding very good while being musical, making great choices and giving the song a great sense of emotion and contour to take us places. It's not like... If it's slow, that that like that challenge is easy. It's not. So I want to make sure if someone took away that interpretation, that was not me intending to say that. So, all right, let's keep going and see where we go with this. head voice there oh my god that was great it's like super triumphant at the end just big every idea that we took there was a cataclysmic we just arrived big ball big wall of sound and then that night oh my god that got me a little emotional I'm not gonna lie to you there um but i just want to hear the ending tag and the vocal here and then and then we'll close it out this is really really good i'm whispering No resolution. Oh, I love it. I love that we are left there and we don't resolve to instruments to bring us back to. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, there it is. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. If you'd like to watch Fiat and Beyond Journeys end with me, the link for the Patreon is down in the video description below. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you did not like this video, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one, please. And thank you. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.